back i hope you guys are having a wonderful tuesday afternoon it's about three o oh goodness it's about 3 30 on tuesday afternoon so this afternoon we are going to compare two different scale different scale, different scale. Different scale. hold on okay so there we go and uh, so two different scale uh one from norm core okay so this is the scale from norm core from amazon and then we are going to compare with uh I mean, the Akaya set of standard, okay, very, very high standard. So, so this is a scale from uh, Akaya scale, it's called Lunar. Two different uh, price points 240 bucks versus $56, I believe, okay. By the way, so Normcore did send me this to check out on my channel. Big shout out to Normcore. So, I'm going to show you, I'm not going to review it, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you the what's difference between. Uh, two different scale, okay. Obviously, you know, I'm big fan of Akaya scale, okay. I'm big fan, but the price point is way too high. So, so let's check out, let's close look both scale and then see. You know what? I, you know, hopefully you guys can decide uh, during this live streaming, okay. Uh, by the way, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome to our daily live streaming. Uh, so this is afternoon session. I usually go uh, first thing in the morning around eight o'clock. Uh, mountain standard time and then sometimes afternoon hit and miss uh, like today 3 30 tomorrow who knows okay but uh, let's get going okay let's get going on this one okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip the camera around here oh, here we go so let's give uh, give you guys close view again like uh, like I mentioned uh, comes to packaging for Normcore, you know what? I cannot resist this. This is Normcore, okay? Look at the writing versus Akaya. Very similar, okay? I wonder they're trying to be like Akaya wannabe, but that's kind of like something notable. And uh, let's see here. Uh, what's in the box? Let, let's take a look at the what's in the box. So whenever you buy Gnome Core, obviously they give you this beautiful, I mean, I really like the cover, okay? I really like the cover they give you. Pretty nice. And also cover for the entire scare as well. And then, so by the way, so this is a USB-C, okay? USB-C rechargeable battery. Compared to Akaya scale is a micro USB, okay. And the, but the fact is, with Akaya scale, one charge lasts about gosh two three weeks, pretty long time. But I have no idea how long it's gonna last for the Norm Core. So I fully charged it. So let's find out. Okay, let's find out how long it's gonna when we need to recharge the battery again. Okay, I'm just gonna open the box for now. Okay. All right. So pretty much in the box, obviously they give you directions here, and uh, a USB charging, USB C charging port. Very simple. Compared to Akaya scale, with Akaya scale in the box. They give you a whole bunch of USB-C, uh, USB, micro USB cable, and also this is pretty cool, okay? So this is 100 gram uh, calibrated weight, okay? So I, it's been already calibrated, all ready to go. So, okay, so by the way, for fun, okay? So this is the Akaya scale. I'm sorry, this is Akaya, this is the Norm Core. This is an Amazon scale. Uh, so this one is about $15 here. Obviously much bigger size. And if you're gonna go something small, this is another scale from Amazon. It's only about $15 as well. 15 or 16, about $15. But with a norm core scale, they are water resistant, okay? You don't have to worry about getting water damage. But this one, I do, okay? You, you, can, you don't want to spill any liquid on this scale. I already damaged about a couple of scales already, so yeah, you don't want that. 
Okay, let's test to the side. All right. So main difference with these two scale. So norm core is very basic. So you have the timer, start, stop, and then back to the zero. Same as Akaya scale as well, start, stop. But uh, Akaya scale does a lot more than just start and stop, okay? That's the reason why you are paying four times more than this guy. Uh, let, let's get the accuracy, okay? Let's do it. So I have my Bitcoin here, 33 gram, pretty fast. As you can see, pretty responsive. 33 gram there. Thirty-three gram. It comes to speed wise very fast. Okay, very responsive. Okay, so that's Akaya. Time. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the norm core. Yeah. Pretty responsive. Not too bad. Okay. I like the size of it. Uh, I know, I mean, you guys are thinking about the timer, uh, black, uh, black magic, or uh, they have uh, another scale as well. The timer scale is also very similar, but the timer scale is a lot bigger than this guy. I think the timer scale is really nice for, you know, uh, pour over as well. So, I mean, this is really nice for pour over. So, you know what? Tell you what, here's what we're going to do. Okay, let's uh, brew some coffee. Okay, I have my fellow, the Stag X over there. So yeah, let's make some coffee, okay? And then after that, let's talk about the scale more. So let's get going here. Yeah, Black Mirror, that's right. Black Mirror from coffee, yeah. Okay, so let's brew some coffee, guys. So we're gonna do some pour over session here. Okay, I'm using the uh, fellow stack X. I'm just gonna put some, I'm gonna set a 94 degree on my fellow stack. Uh, we're gonna be brewing yellow brick from square mile this afternoon. I got 15 gram here, so uh, let's do like 1 to 15 ratio. So I got 15 gram in like what? Here we go, guys. I'm using the DF64 as a grinder. Yeah, smells great. Smells wonderful there. I'm just gonna wash out the filter paper. Here we are almost ready to brew. So we're gonna be doing a uh, one to 15. It's so got 15 gram in around what? Two, 250, 250 gram as a yield. Okay. Hope I can give you guys a better view this afternoon here. There we go. Again, we are using the Fellow Stack X. I'm just gonna tear it up.
okay and then uh, here's what we're gonna do I'm going to I like to do is I like to just make a little hole there I'm gonna do about maybe like 30 second uh, pull I'm gonna be let's start the timer now just put about 30 grams in it and I like to stir it okay Make sure mix it. Make sure mix all the coffee grinds. And I'm gonna wait about. You know what? I'm gonna try a little longer pre-infusion. Okay, about a minute or so. Okay. Just about a minute. By the way, they got tons and tons of different recipes out there. So just make sure pick one. And then go from there okay and uh, I'm using the 94 degree Celsius I'm just gonna slowly put some more in I'm gonna put about up to 150 gram Make sure to shake it well, nice and easy. I'm really looking forward to trying out this coffee. So this is the uh, James Hopman. James, well, one of, uh, I think one of the owners of James Hopman, Square Mile from, no, Red Brick from Square Mile. Big shout out to Lindsay, okay? Lindsay, if you are watching, Thank you for sending me that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go finish brewing here by just go up to 255 gram. Now let's go to 50. And uh, my extraction time is going, I'm trying to shoot for around 3 minutes and 30 seconds. 3.30. Oh, it looks pretty good. Okay, you know what? Meantime... Very close. We are at two, about three minutes right now. I think we're gonna be just about right. Just about right. Okay. Uh, comes the tasting notes. This one is, let's see, orange, uh, chocolate, apple, the red apple, and caramel as tasting notes. You know what, and we're at 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, very close there, guys. Pretty good. I'm just going to toss it out here. Yeah. I mean, overall, I mean, I, I really like the scale. Okay. Very simple, clean. Hold on. Okay. Let's flip back the camera. Not bad. Okay. So let's try the coffee, okay? Let's try the coffee here. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome to our daily live streaming. Uh, make sure to press like on the video, okay? Make sure to press like. By the way, the weather is great right now. It's raining right now in Tucson, so. So let's try this coffee. Okay. Cheers. Man, smells great. Hmm. I think I felt like I'm a little over extracted. Okay. Three minutes, 30 seconds, one. Yeah, I think I feel like this is over extracted. 
I can taste the uh, uh, apple for sure. I don't know about chocolate though, okay? Supposedly chocolate tasting though, but yeah, definitely apple. A very fruity. Overall, it's fantastic, okay? Fantastic, but yeah, I think I think I need to change my grinder size a little coarser. I think two, uh, three minute and 30 second ones are, it's not gonna work, okay? I'm not gonna work on this coffee. So, by the way, uh, so right now I'm using all fellow products, okay? I got the fellow stack, uh, fellow stack X, okay? And also I have the, the fellow, uh, it's called Joy Cup, okay? It's called Joy Cup as well, no, yep. Fellow Joy Cup. So it's all fellow, I'm gonna big shout out to fellow. Uh, by the way, I do have a fellow, uh, I have a 10% off coupon code. Okay, if you guys are interested in fellow products, make sure you use my link to fellow. Okay, I'm gonna put the link down below and they use my code for 10% off. So don't go to fellow.com, just make sure you use my referral link. So uh, again, I mean, this coffee is over extracted. So this is more like, I saw under three minutes. So I need to change my uh, grinder size for sure. A little bit more coarser, more like two minutes and 30 seconds should be perfect on this one. Uh, I went minute over. So yeah, uh, definitely uh, around two minutes and 30 seconds or like 240 or so. Again, you can, you, you can, use, you can use the tear from the little bitterness of the coffee. But I mean, this kind of like part of the, the brewing process. So you are going to stick with the one method and they start tweaking, okay? Start tweaking from, you know, kind of like change your grinder size up or down. And also, once you have that, also you can play with your water temperature as well, okay? Water temperature. So I think that's the, another reason, great thing about, uh, you know, I mean, adjustable temperature control like Fellow Stag or Brewster or any other electric kettles out there, you can control by one degree. They're really nice, really fun to use, okay? Okay, we got Jordan mentioned about the uh, best cup from Stack X is a better, shorter. Okay, you mean shorter brewing time, Jordan? Yeah, I think uh, next time what we're gonna do is uh, uh, I'm planning on doing uh, once a week. Okay, uh, let's do pour over. Maybe Monday or Tuesday. Maybe Tuesday. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, so every Tuesday, let's do pour over session on every Tuesday. Hold on. We have a uh, Junshik. Uh, Mention but question since yesterday, my Bravo Brewster Express has symptom as a low flow, okay? Little or no stream, stream dispense hot water. Should I replace the water pump? Uh, most likely, okay? Most likely you need to replace the pump there. You're not getting enough water coming out, so which means you're pump is not working properly. Uh, water pump replacement on Bravo, uh, Bravo Booster Express is not that bad, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's tons of video on it, so yeah, make sure to check it out. Okay, make sure to check out it. Okay, so Alaska Bay, how often do you clean the burr, burrs in the grinder chamber? You know, I try to clean about well, once a month. I try to do about once a month. So, hey Jordan, definitely I'm gonna, well, we're gonna try it out. Oh, DF64, uh, yeah, uh, about once a month as well. I uh, trying to clean at uh, least once a month for all my grinders. Express or Pro, even Niche as well. Yeah, definitely once a month. And uh, Jordan, uh, let's try that try the shorter uh, extraction next week, okay? Uh, right now, so which means I need to change my grinder setting to a little coarser as well. So definitely I'm gonna make note of that right now. Uh, my grinder setting is around like 35 at the moment, so maybe I push to like 40 next week. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna get a more sweeter shot. Okay, I don't have video, uh, Junshik, I don't have video on that, but uh, some of, uh, I think a few other YouTubers have one, okay? So make sure to check it out. And I did replace the uh, water pump on my, uh, my other machine, but I did not make video. So again, so this bin was the, the red brick from uh, Square Mile, okay? So this is the one of James Hoffman's coffee. So it's not bad, okay? It's not, you know, it's not like mind boggling good, but yeah, it's pretty good. So tomorrow morning, uh, let's play with uh, Ethiopia coffee beans some mirror coffee. It's gonna be pretty good as well. But again, uh, overall, 
By the way, if you have like GNOME core scale at home, uh, let me know in the comment section. You know, if you have it, uh, let me know if you like this scale. If not, yeah. But for the price, very competitive. Yeah, I like the price. I like the size of it. I mean, it's not like it's not a Kaya, but yeah. Yeah, I like the price range. Cooker for coffee mentioned red bricks or onyx. Okay. Okay, so it's all depend on what you guys like, but so far I like the, uh, the flavor from Onyx. It's more complex than the Red Bricks for sure. But you know, again, I mean, I mean, I only try one. So yeah, I know they have a tons of different type of coffees at the Onyx. So, uh, or even Red, uh, even a Square Meyer as well. Jordan asked, uh, quick meal. Do you like it? You know what? That is sweet uh, machine. The fact is, if you spend anything above like $2,500, and whatever you're looking at the machine, they're all good. Okay, I have to say, all made in Italy. I mean, doesn't matter, Quick Meal or Little Lat, but ECM, Perfect Tech, who else? Who else? We got, got tons and tons of great companies out there. So, again, can't go, can't go wrong with it. Uh, is Gnome Core Scale better than Timer Scale? You know what? I use both. Before, uh, I used a timer scale, I ended up returning it. But with the GNOME Core, I like the, the, simp uh, I like the simplicity of the GNOME Core. It's a pretty much start, stop, uh, wait, the, yeah. It comes to simplicity, definitely, I like, you know what? The fact is, you can get it from Amazon, try it out. If you don't like it, just return it, okay? I mean, that's, again, that's the, another thing about the getting from Amazon. I mean, you can return it, you know, with 30 days anyway. So, I mean, you know, once you start using it, you like it or not. So, yeah. Uh, definitely, you know, just uh, worth trying out, okay? I think that's not another reason, you know, I like to, you know, I like getting from Amazon vendor because the return policy, so easy. Okay. Junshik asks, uh, Brother Oracle Touch? Oh, man, you know, you know what? I mean, if you like the somewhat automated, Oracle Touch is great, but for me, I like more like manual process because I like to control. Okay, I like to control. Uh, you know when you know I'm making coffee there. So uh, once you you have Robert Brista Express, I mean depends. You can go after Oracle Touch or you can go to more like in you know, a semi-automatic machine. But you know I I prefer semi-automatic machine. Okay. Uh, Alaska Vapor asks, is a quick meal, is it, yeah, there are double boiler, okay, it's not a single, uh, yeah, it's not a thermal block. Yeah. Let's see here, uh, you know what, the dual boiler from Bravo is good option, okay, yeah, good option there, which means you, you gotta get a, Oracle Touch uh, has a built-in coffee grinder, so, again, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, if you're something simple, easy, yeah, Oracle Touch is pretty nice, but they are around $2,400, I believe. It's not cheap, okay? It's not cheap at all. So, let's see here. Uh, Linda mentioned about the, uh, okay, shout out to Linda. I mean, Bravo Brista Express, that's one of my first machines I ever got. So, I mean, they're a great machine to start with, but it's not, yeah. Hold on a second. Which one is better, dual boiler or heat? It all depends on what you guys like. Okay, that's also another good topic to debate as well. Personally, I like the uh, dual boiler with the PID. You have more control. But dual uh, heat exchange machine is pretty inexpensive. Okay, fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars. You can get a really fantastic machine. The dual boiler costs you what twenty five hundred dollars and up. So yeah, it all depends. We have a uh, best budget grinder for espresso. Man, that's a great question too. Uh, Eureka, the Bratza is pretty good. Okay, check out the Bratza. All right, Bratza is fantastic. We got Hans. Bravo Dual Boiler is, yep, that is another fantastic grinder as well. We got the GX Pro from, yep. Again, I mean, I'm not a big fan of manual grinder. Okay, the hand grind, they're great for like camping and stuff, but yeah. Okay, let's see. Carlos mentioned is sustainability. Man, that's a great question. 
Okay, great question there. Uh, Donald asks Sylvia Pro or Lilette El Elizabeth. Well, you know what? I think I go with the Lilette. Okay, about the same price range, but man, that that's good. Hold on a second. Uh, Jun Shik mentioned about the yeah rocket uh, apartment is very popular. I know a lot of YouTubers has one. But you know what? Uh, if you can get one, go with the PID if you have option to get the heat exchange with the PID. I mean, that's, that's what I recommend. Because the, the temperature surfing is not that fun. Even though E61 group head does really good uh, temperature uh, stability. But yeah, if you can go with yeah, uh, PID, if you can. What else? I think we are pretty good this afternoon. Okay, we've got 40, almost 40, uh, 37 of us watching right now. Make sure to press like on the video, okay? And then uh, what else? Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Uh, Alaska Vapor. What about the Perfectex 700? Great machine, Ross. They're great. Oh yeah, but I mean anything over like 25 to 3 grand, I can't go wrong with it, okay? They're all great machine, but which means you got to get a good grinder. Make sure you go with a nice grinder. Because if I will, I start with the grinder first, whatever machine you have, and then uh, go up to like dual boiler. Okay, let little Elizabeth. If money is not an issue, you know what? Uh, money is not an issue. I go with a dual boiler. Okay, go with the dual boiler with the PID. But if a money is an issue, uh, just make sure you go with the heat exchange with the PID. Uh, let's see. I think we are pretty good this afternoon. Okay, uh, about 40. Okay, so next couple of days, okay, we are going to pull the shot with the Wakak Pico Presser. Uh, we did the unbox what, yesterday morning, so definitely we're going to try that. Okay, uh, next few days. I mean, I heard great things about this. Okay, I heard great things about this one, and also I know a couple of YouTubers are rave about this. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to putting the shot for you guys. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Uh, I think I'm gonna jump into Instagram right now. Okay, so if you have, have any questions, actually, you know, better yet, show us your copy bar setup. Okay, make sure you show us copy bar setup as well. Uh, hold on. Uh, I think a uh, heat exchange Michael mentioned uh, Mariah X is really nice. The Lillette is a man, I'm telling you, Lillette makes very high quality machine for the bank for the buck. Okay, even Lillette Bianca is, is only about what around 30 or 2700 bucks or so. Comes with a bottomless peripheral flow control, all the wooden uh, handle as well. So, yeah, they're really good for the money. Okay. All right, I'm gonna see you guys on Instagram.